Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at an Esper colored legendary and vehicle deck. And I'll start by telling the origin story of this deck and how it came to be, which might also give you a glimpse into how I approach deck building in general. The key interaction I wanted to build around was Relic of Legends alongside Teferi, who slows the sunset. Relic's a 3 mana artifact, tapping for 1 mana of any color, and we can also tap an untapped legendary creature we control to add 1 mana of any color. This also ignores summoning sickness, so if we can combine a Relic with a cheap legendary creature, preferably at 2 mana, we can potentially generate an early mana advantage. Then Teferi's plus 1 ability potentially lets us untap an artifact, a creature and a land while gaining 2 life, can also potentially tap down opposing permanence, and the minus 2 can provide a bit of card advantage. So the main ability we're interested in here is the plus one, as we can potentially untap our legendary creature, which makes the mana with the Relic of Legends, the Relic itself makes the mana, and of course so does our land. So now all of a sudden Teferi's plus one ability could generate three mana, which is quite exciting. So that's our starting point. Next we need to find some cheap legendary creatures, preferably in blue-white, that we can combine with our Relic of Legends, and that's where I found the reality chip. Two mana 04 legendary artifact creature lets us take a look at the top card of our library at any time, and if we reconfigure it for two and a blue it turns into an equipment, and as long as it's attached to a creature we may play lands and cast spells from the top of our library, so now we can leverage our mana advantage and actually start casting additional spells. And then we have Sten Paranoid Partisan 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. As it enters the battlefield, we choose a card type other than a creature or land. And in this deck, it's typically going to be Artifact or sometimes Planeswalker. And then spells we cast of the chosen type cost one generic mana less to cast. So Sten also plays into our whole mana advantage theme and plays very well with all the artifacts in our deck. So now we've got a couple legendary creatures, but we still don't have a deck, and we also are lacking interaction at the moment. So that's where I introduced Black to get access to Greasefang, Okiba Boss, a 3-mana 4-3 legendary rat pilot, and at the beginning of combat on our turn we can return a vehicle from our graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, and we have to return it back to our hand at the beginning of the next end step. And Greasefang plays quite nicely with Surge Hacker Mech in standard, now that the Isika's Chariot is no longer legal, a 4-mana 5-5 with menace and a crew cost of four so we can crew it with grease fang and maybe get an attack in before picking it back up end of turn and when the mech enters the battlefield it deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles we control to a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls so this can potentially be repeatable removal by itself the mech deals two damage but we also have the full play set of a reckoner bank buster to add even more vehicles so the mech can potentially take out larger creatures and even planeswalkers so Bankbuster, another nice 2-drop that can leverage the mana advantage from Sten and the whole Relic of Legends plus Teferi combo can even untap our Bankbuster so we can activate it twice in the same turn cycle to potentially draw 2 cards at the cost of 2 mana. Great synergy with Bankbuster is Tezzeret, Betrayer of Flesh, 4 mana Planeswalker, starts out at 4 loyalty and has a passive saying first activated ability of an artifact we activate each turn costs 2 generic mana less to activate. So now we can potentially activate our Bankbuster for free to draw a card. And then Tezzeret's plus 1 ability also acts as a discard outlet by drawing 2 cards and then discarding 2 cards unless we discard an artifact card. Because one of the problems with the Grease Fang plus Search Hacker mech combo is that the mech ends up in our hand instead of in our graveyard, so we don't necessarily get to keep bringing it back with Grease Fang. So if we have a way of discarding our mech with, let's say, Tezzeret's plus 1 ability, we can keep bringing it back over and over again. Then Tezzeret can also animate some of our artifacts, turning them into 4-4 creatures, and the minus 6 emblem can also be pretty fun if we get to it. So that's Tezzeret. Next, we probably still need an additional discard outlet to combine with Search Hacker and Grease Fang, and that's where Fleeting Spirit also comes in handy. 2-mana 3-1 can discard a card to exile Fleeting Spirit and return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So this ability, typically used to dodge removal spells, can also be nice against a mono-black deck in standard right now, even dodging Liliana's minus 2 ability, and can also function as a discard outlet for Search Hacker mech so we can bring it back with Grease Fang. 
And then finally we can add another 2 mana legendary creature to our deck, which also happens to double up as a discard outlet for Surge Hacker, Vohar, Vodalian, Desecrator, a 1-2 that can tap to draw a card and then discard a card. We don't have any instants or sorceries in our deck to potentially drain the opponent, so that's not relevant. So just purely a 2 mana legendary creature that can act as a merfolk looter, which is all we need. And then the final piece of the puzzle is Karn Living Legacy, which was voted on by my supporters on Patreon, which can also function as a card draw engine with the minus one. The plus one makes a Power Stone token, which also has great synergy throughout the deck, helping us activate abilities and cast our artifacts. And then the emblem can also potentially be game winning. So that's how this deck came to be. The mana base also has a few goodies, with Plans of Heroes helping us cast our legendary creatures, and also functions as a mana sink to give our legendary creature hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. We've got a mech hanger, which can help us crew our vehicles if we don't have the creatures to crew them. We've got Rafine's Tower for mana fixing, can also be cycled late game, and then a couple dual lands, as well as the channel lands from Kamigawa, which also get a nice discount for controlling legendary creatures, and Soaring City and Aiganjo offers some additional interaction, which our deck otherwise doesn't really have a ton of. So yeah, that's our Esper Legend Vehicle deck, let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, hand's got a lot of potential, if we find a fairy especially with legendary creature and relic but uh, even just the uh, two drop discarding search hacker mech with a grease fang is incredibly powerful opponent on a white cleric deck perhaps black white mono white for now and voice can be pretty scary they could get it out of range from our search hacker pretty easily so it's gonna be an uphill battle But yeah, next turn we can already bring back Surge Hacker. Which will be able to kill the Minister now, I guess. Voice up to 5 power already. So, yeah, I think killing Minister is probably our best move. So we'll discard Surge Hacker. And play Grease Fang. Bankbuster is not bad, because then we can maybe get more vehicles in play to make it easier to uh, kill a larger Voice of the Blessed. But for now we want to stop the Ministers from growing it. And then I'll keep Grease Fang back as a blocker as opposed to Kring Search Hacker. Okay, so we've got a nice little engine here. Ooh, Adversary pumping the team. They can pump Escort to attack past Grease Fang. Next turn we can kill Adversary, but uh, Voice of the Blast keeps hitting us. And soon gonna gain Flying as well. So yeah, not interested in trading here. Escort specifically says plus one counters, so it can make the Adversary indestructible at least. So what's my move? Stand naming artifact, perhaps. As step one, lets me play a relic of legends for two mana. And then, let's see, four or more counters, flying and vigilance. Yeah, that's a problem. Play a relic. And then, can play a reality chip, which pays for itself as an extra blocker. And I think we need to kill Minister, because that's the way this would gain flying. And then uh, Adversary will have to deal with later. So play Bankbuster. And we can tap Sten. Keep Reality Chip as a larger blocker. And then discard Search Hacker. To bring back with Grease Fang. Okay, so we're doing some things. Can also crew Bankbuster to block with next turn, maybe. And I could even draw with Bankbuster on the way out, since we have two legendary creatures that tap with Relic. 
another adversary. Okay. Opponent sends in the team. Now I guess if we crew Bankbuster, I wouldn't be able to draw with it since then Grease Fang is tapped. So we'll uh, crew here. And then we're forced to chump voice and block escort. Now this is going to gain flying next turn, so that's going to be tricky. And they gave it lifelink as well to gain even more life. Okay. So 9-9 nine, nine, Voice of the Blessed. I don't think I can kill that. I can play Bank Buster and then Search Hanker deal 6. But not quite 9. I don't have any flyers I can draw. Oh man, we had such a promising start. Lots of cool synergies. But uh, this early Voice of the Blessed I think is going to run away with the game. So yeah, just double checking here because we can potentially see quite a few cards. But I don't think enough. Start by looting. See what we pick up. Another Grease Fang. I don't think that helps us. Can draw with Bank Buster. Finding Teferi, which is great and all, but it doesn't solve our immediate problem. Can play it. Untap a bunch of things. I could explain what I'm about to do, but I'd rather show than tell. Don't worry. Play another bank buster. Draw again with Desecrator. Soaring City. Okay. I guess that's an out. So bring back Search Hacker. And four damage is enough to kill Adversary. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. And then I'll probably trade Sten for Adversary if that attacks. And then I guess we can crew Search Hacker to attack. Get that party started. And we can channel this for just a single blue. So I could even play Bankbuster as well. Okay. Another Voice of the Blessed. Opponent attacks. Block. Bounce. The voice grows. And now we can actually take over with Search Hacker killing Voice of the Blast over and over. And wow, what a game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's promising. Potentially... Missing Grease Fang, since we can discard Search Hanker to Fleeting Spirit and keep bringing it back. Could also use Teferi, which makes a lot of mana with the Relic and the Legendary Creature in play. So I'm probably playing Vohar turn 2, so turn 3 we can play Relic and Fleeting Spirit. And then Vohar can also function as a discard outlet to keep looping mech with a potential Grease Fang. Put on black whites. If our opponent kills Vohar, what's our play next turn? Probably still play Relic, but now we get to have our cake and eat it too. And we found a fairy, so that can make a ton of mana next turn. Opponent hasn't done much yet. 
Meathook Massacre for two. That's unfortunate. Well, probably worth saving our Fleeting Spirits. And then, what do I discard? So next turn I can play Teferi. And then only makes two mana back, so not enough to play another four drop afterwards. So without a Legendary, Teferi is a bit less exciting here. So maybe I prefer keeping Tazeret and Surge Hacker, although Surge Hacker is not killing anything right now. So maybe I discard Surge Hacker, keep the land. And then if we draw Grease Fang, it'll already be in the graveyard. Bangbuster is nice. Okay, so now Teferi plus Bangbuster is probably going to be the play. And uh, can hit for three as well. Pass it back. So we've got multiple card draw engines in play now. I think we start by drawing with Bankbuster. We can also untap it to maybe draw again if we'd like. Find Igunjo. Yeah, kind of like the idea of uh, untapping Bankbuster. Opponent might have Wandering Emperor to exile Fleeting Spirit, in which case I'm fine discarding Igunjo. So, sure, let's uh, attack for three. And there's Emperor. Feel the energy of battle. It's gonna minus. Yeah, I guess Tesseret's passive would let us draw for free with Bangbuster, so we can do that in the opponent's turn. You want to fight. Ah. And then I could animate my Relic here if I'd like. That way I can also untap it as part of being a creature. So, could work well with Teferi. And then Bangbuster is going to be free to draw with Tesseret's passive. Possible I wanted to play Tesseret before tapping any artifacts in my last turn, so I could have drawn with Bangbuster for free twice, basically. Eh, opponent's gonna destroy our relic. Uh, sure. Don't want to tap it for mana, since otherwise I wouldn't be able to use Tezzeret's discount. And on the off chance our opponent has a discard effect, I don't want to draw first. This card's an underdog. And counter on informant. So now we can draw. Finding Grease Fang, perfect. So combo assembled. What to do with Teferi, what to do with Tezzeret, lots of questions. Probably start by drawing with Bankbuster. Find a plaza. And then Tesseret can loot. And could discard a bank buster. Or we could play it. And then discard Spirit plus Beach. And then uh Bang Buster I can activate again in the opponent's turn for free. Increase our vehicle count for Grease Fang. Which will bring back Search Hacker, Killing Informants. Can finish off Wandering Emperor. And probably wanted to attack with a Search Hacker there too. But keeping Grease Fang untapped plays around another Wandering Emperor. And this is not quite enough to crew Search Hacker. Although I guess we could have untapped Grease Fang with uh, Teferi to play around another Wandering Emperor. It's another interesting synergy here, so there's just a lot going on. Uh, let's see. Can I activate my Bankbuster? Untap it? Yeah, I guess we can. Using our treasure. And then untap. 
Okay, I think we're done. Search Hacker goes back to hands, where we can discard it and loop it back with Grease Fang. Yeah, this deck's pretty complicated to play once you get all these Planeswalkers out. But it's definitely doing lots of powerful things. So draw with Bankbuster. Even have our mech hangers to potentially crew our vehicles if needed. And Teferi can ultimate. Okay, step one. Probably ultimate Teferi. Before they can find an answer to it. Then Tezzeret can plus. Discarding Search Hacker. And then Bangbuster will draw for free. Play another Plaza out for protection. And then can crew a whole bunch of creatures here. Move to Combots. Get back Search Hacker, nothing to deal damage to. We'll crew with Grease Fang. And then our team can attack, that looks good. Could have also used Hanger to crew our vehicle here, but wanted to keep up the protection for Grease Fang. Now they could XL Search Hacker mech with Emperor, and then we wouldn't be able to loop it back with Grease Fang, so maybe a reason not to attack with it here. Since, yeah, this only gives hex proof to legendary creatures. Uh, that's okay. Bone falls to 13. And we'll pass. And the Teferi Emblem draws into Karn. Which should be pretty good too here. So we wouldn't mind finding another Search Hacker to bring back with Grease Fang. Can spend quite a bit of mana with Karn to go digging. Remember your training. Another Grease Fang. Okay, so how about we plus Tesseret? Can easily discard a couple lanes. Then Karn. And then probably fine to tap out since we have a backup Grease Fang now. So four, five. Yeah, I guess five is probably enough here. We must conceal our Finding Reality Chip and another Teferi. Let's go with Reality Chip. And then through some of our vehicles. What if I attack face with everyone? Do we have lethal opponent chumps can survive? So we'll take out Emperor here. Attacking with maybe both bank busters. Grease Fang Spirit can go face. And we can give Spirit first strike as well. So they might have removal for the second bank buster to keep Wandering Emperor alive. Although everything's going to untap with the Teferi Emblem, so they won't actually be able to exile a tapped creature with it. Okay. And then shields up on double plaza, protecting Grease Fang as well. So, yeah, opponents trying their best to keep up. They've cast lots of powerful mythics, but our weird synergies are kind of getting it done. Just want to find another Surge Hacker, and that's probably going to be game over. And nothing to spend my mana on, I don't think. So, let's see. Can also minus two Tesseret at this point, animate our Relic of Legends. Minus one Karn, spending... I'll pay five. Together. 
All right, still no search hacker. Sten reality chip. I guess we'll grab Sten. Can play it, and your opponent has seen enough. What were we gonna do this turn? Just having another peek here. We could play Sten naming artifact. Still haven't used Tesseret's passive this turn, so we could maybe use that to reconfigure reality chip for single blue as opposed to three mana, and maybe find some goodies on top of our deck as well. So just an embarrassment of riches, but this Deferi Emblem is definitely going to carry us to victory. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. This hand's probably not going to do it. Triple reality chip. This is better. Would love to find Teferi. And then we already have a discard outlet in Tesseret, so probably don't need fleeting spirits. Opponent blue-white. Another Tesseret. And a Fleeting Spirit on top. Okay, if I play Relic I can still play my Fleeting Spirit, so that's the plan. Opponent's gonna Impulse. And then Tesseret could be a nice source of card advantage. Opponent playing the Silex that can blow up our board, including our Relic and our Planeswalker, so yeah, that one we don't love seeing. Found a Grease Fang, missing a vehicle, so could also use our Plaza of Heroes to potentially make something indestructible. Problem is just a threat of activation on Silex, don't really want to play and tap out for Tezzeret can save the Fleeting Spirit and use Plaza to save my two creatures at least. So that might just be the play for now, as opposed to potentially uh, using the Reconfigure here, because then I wouldn't quite have enough mana. Can tap Reality Chip, and then Relic a land, but then we're one short of activating Plaza. Yeah, I guess we'll just hit for three. Kind of a sad turn. That might play into the opponent's game plan. But I uh, don't think I can afford to lose too much to the Silex. Our opponent's going to blow it up. We're going to discard Tesseret. And make our ship indestructible. And land on top means I can attack and then reconfigure to still play the land. Another land incoming. And Fleeting Spirit can be tough for Blue White to deal with. Another Silex, okay. Let's play land and a Surge Hacker. So we have the combo with the Grease Fang and Tezzeret as well as another discard outlet. I should probably play the Search Hacker, which will maybe get destroyed by Silex, and then we can bring it back with Grease Fang. And hit for three. Now we will lose the Reality Chip as well to the Silex. Hoping there's no farewell in our future, which can exile everything. That's going to be x equals 4, so we'll save spirits. Our land can go. Spirit is back. And then Grease Fang plus Bankbuster going to be our play. Hit for eight. And then our happy discarding Surge Hacker to Fleeting Spirit as Grease Fang can grab it back. Okay, Scorn counters Bankbuster, that's too bad, but can also bring that back with Grease Fang and then put it in hand. Another Impulse.
And our opponent explodes. Yeah, Fleeting Spirit, our MVP for sure. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand could use Grease Fang to combo with Spirit and Surge Hacker. A little slow to get going, but I'll try it. Tazrets, another discard outlet. So we found all our Planeswalkers. Just needs time to cast them. Opponent Mono Black with Underdog. And we'll play Fleeting Spirits. Which can maybe discard a Surge Hacker if her opponent tries to kill it. Not really interested in trading for Underdog, I don't think. And opponent got a Bank Buster. Okay, another Spirit we can play. And I guess hit for three. And then I might want to keep Surge Hacker as a potential way to pressure opposing Planeswalkers as well. Opponent's gonna cut down Fleeting Spirits. Might not have time to leverage Karn. In general, definitely the weakest Planeswalker, I would say. And a Trespasser. Can also get rid of our Surge Hacker potentially if we discard it, so I have to be careful with the timing. At least Spirit allows us to discard at instant speed. But we're taking 7 here, so under a lot of pressure. A reality chip's not bad. Think it's just cast search hacker now. And then we can keep it back to block. It's crew four, so can't attack with fleeting spirits unless I'm willing to discard a card, which I'm not. Trespasser moves to combat. Yeah, I'll make them use a, an infernal grasp on search hacker and then hope to Maybe find a Grease Fang later, as opposed to just trading for Trespasser. And if they use Infernal Grasp here, it's maybe also not the most efficient turn for them. We get to block. Maybe they didn't see it coming, or they have a Meat Hook Massacre to wipe the board here. Alright, Massacre for two. So, I think I save one Fleeting Spirit, as opposed to both, and then... Maybe get rid of Teferi, since we can maybe combine Chip plus Tesseret to get a discount and find more action. Okay. So, play Tesseret and then... I probably want to just plus. Alternatively, can play and reconfigure reality chip, but I wouldn't be able to play anything with it, so that's kind of disappointing. So yeah, Tesseret seems fine. Finds a relic. Would I prefer land? I think so. And we'll keep Fleeting Spirit back on defense. Might have wanted to tap slightly differently to keep White Man available, but also wanted to see what we found of Tesseret first. Right, Trespasser also nerfs our Fleeting Spirit somewhat. And if they go after Surge Hacker mech, it'll make our uh, Grease Fang worse as well. But opponent goes for the creature, which still makes sense. And Bang Buster goes after Tesseret. Could Chum Block discard land to protect it. Although at one loyalty, we can still make good use of Tesseret. So it's a close call. I think I will chump. Find another Relic. So I could turn Relic into a 4-4 creature with Tesseret as well. I think step one, probably play chip, reconfigure for single blue. And then take it from there. There's a stand on top, so we can play that. Although, hmm, tap my mana kind of awkwardly. 
I guess just double mech hanger is uh, always going to make that awkward. Okay, so in that case, maybe loot with Tesseret. I can discard Relic, place 10, and then wait to reconfigure until we see what's on top. I right, can play a 2-drop, and a Bang Buster's not bad either. So we have options, maybe go Sten, name Artifact, play 1-mana Bang Buster. Still pretty mana efficient. And then we'll pass with the threat of Crewing Bang Buster, if not we can draw with it, but can do both. Opponent animates their own. And 4 4 goes after Tesseret. Yeah, probably just crew my own Bangbuster and trade. Although it is a nice card draw engine to have access to. Although we also have Reality Chip, so we have a lot of card draw engines here. I think we'll let Tesseret take 4 so I can keep my Bangbuster for a little bit longer. And I wasn't really too interested in the ultimate here. Even though it could be good. And there's Grease Fang, perfect. And another Search Hacker on top. Okay, so reconfiguring Reality Chip costs one mana. Then I can play a three mana Search Hacker. Or I can draw into it with uh, Bank Buster instead of doing the reconfigure thing. Which may be better since it also leaves an extra blocker available. And they can mess it up with uh, a removal spell as much. So we'll draw. Another Search Hacker too. Okay, so let's see here. I think it's going to be Grease Fang. Bring back Search Hacker. Killing Trespasser, discarding... I guess another search hacker at this point. Tazeret can also activate. Can discard another search hacker. Or I can play one from hand. And then still bring one back. Paying the ward. This one's got haste, so can attack. And reality chip protects our Tesseret. Okay, so we've turned the corner, can protect spirit with mech being discarded, another grease fang on top. So we've got most angles covered. They could blitz underdog to animate Bankbuster, attack Tesseret. Liliana, that's fine. But they might have to play defense here instead. So now I could sacrifice Reality Chip, keep all my creatures that can attack. Or we could sacrifice Grease Fang since we can play another one next turn, since we know it's incoming. Sure. Okay. Can... Uh... Draw into another Bank Buster with the current one, or we can use that to crew. Can minus Tesseret, pretty sure we have a lethal one way or the other. So let's play Grease Fang. Play Search Hacker, killing Underdog. Then I can... Minus two on something that doesn't have summoning sickness, like reality chip. And then we can crew both vehicles, get another one. That one we could also potentially crew and attack for the win. Awesome. So yeah, we got a taste of our Esper Grease Fang Legends deck. And it's an incredibly difficult deck to play perfectly. I probably made a ton of mistakes just piloting through it. 
but it's a ton of fun and very rewarding if you can find all the tricky lines. So we probably haven't reached its full potential yet, which is kind of exciting for kind of a new unknown archetype that I haven't seen anyone else play. But the combo of Relic of Legends with a 2-mana legendary creature and Teferi is great, and all of the 2-mana legends also have great synergy throughout the deck, with Reality Chip being great alongside Tazeret, we've got our discard outlet with Grease Fang, and then we also have uh, Sten, which gives us relevant discounts on both Artifact and Planeswalker. So very excited where this deck could go in the future, but for now I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.